Hello bakers! Welcome back to another tutorial from Twinkle Baker Decor where you can bake your imagination. Today's cupcakes are superhero themed. For our first cupcake, it'll be a Batman cupcake and you'll need black fondant, yellow sweet sand from twinklebakerdecor.com, and a Batman stencil or Batman cookie cutter. For our second cupcake, it will be a Superman cupcake. For that, you'll need red fondant, yellow fondant, a Superman stencil or Superman cookie cutter, and dark blue edible glitter from twinklebakerdecor.com. For our third cupcake, it'll be a Captain America cupcake. For that cupcake, you'll need white buttercream, blue and red fondant, four circle cookie cutters, and mini pearl beads royal blue color from twinklebakerdecor.com. For our fourth and final cupcake, it will be a mini cupcake, and there'll be action words. For those, you'll need blue, yellow, and black fondant, and green frosting tube from twinklebakerdecor.com. So let's get started. So I have our cupcakes already made. And so what I did for this one, this is going to be our Batman one. I made a Batman stencil. Um, you don't have to do this. You could just get the cookie cutters from online. But if you do want to make something like this, what I did was I folded it in half. And then I traced one half of it. So I just I just drew and I traced on one side. And then I cut it. So that way when I unfold it, then it's even on both sides. And it's about the size of the cupcake just to sit on top. Just like that. And then I got some fondant and I rolled it out. And then what I did was just got a really sharp knife. And then I cut around the edges being really careful because your knife is sharp. You don't want to cut yourself. And then that's it, just let it sit out and dry. And so this is the final product. So I'm gonna set that aside, bring our cupcake back. So for this one, I'm gonna do a yellow buttercream because it's Batman. And this I'm not gonna pipe on. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna cover it in our sweet sand. And I have my spatula and I'm just going to go around. Just clean up the edges. So I want about that much buttercream on this cupcake. Then we're going to get our bowl. And this is our yellow sweet sand. You can find this online at twinklebakerdecor.com. And I'm just going to pour some sugar in here. I'm going to pour it right back so I'm not going to worry about how much I'm putting in there. And then you're just going to dip the cupcake. And I do edges first. And as you're dipping it will make the buttercream rounded. That way you don't have to frost it perfectly when you put on the frosting. Okay, so now it's nice and yellow. And if you can see how beautiful that color looks, then that yellow buttercream really helps that sugar highlight. So I'm going to get my Batman cut out. And I have a little buttercream here just so he'll stick to the cupcake. And cut off that edge. I just want to do one line across like that. Pick up my Batman silhouette, place them right on top. And so now we have our Batman silhouette cupcake. So we're going to set this one aside. We're going to get started with our second cupcake, which is the Superman one. So this one, the same thing. I made a Superman stencil. And what I did was I actually used these scissors. So first I traced it and then I just got the scissors and I was very careful and then I cut around the lines just to get all those spaces out. And then I used a really sharp paring knife to cut out the fondant with. So here's our cupcake. For this cupcake it's going to be covered in blue fondant. So I'm not, again I'm not too worried about how it looks on top, how I put the buttercream. I have my spatula here. Wipe the buttercream down over the edge of the cupcake, almost scraping it off on the cupcake cup, but so, but not so that it's smearing on the cupcake cup. Okay, so now it's frosted. So I have my blue fondant, and I'm just gonna knead it a little bit and get my cornstarch so it doesn't stick to my rolling pin or my board or my hands. 
And I don't want this too thin. I actually want it kind of thick for my personal preference. If you like to roll it out thin because you don't like the taste of fondant, then that's totally up to you. I like the way the fondant looks when it's a little bit thicker. It has a smoother look. So for this cupcake, I want it a little bit thick, but it's not too thick, but it's not too thin. And so I have a cookie cutter that's about the size of the top of my cupcake. So I'm just gonna cut out a circle of it. And then I have a little bit of water here because we're gonna put the blue glitter on it. And so this is really cool because it's gonna make it look like Superman's suit. And you can find this on twinklebakerdecor.com. So again, I'm not gonna worry about how much I'm putting in the bowl. I just put about half. I'm gonna pour it back when I'm done with it. And then have my water. I'm just gonna use my finger and just damp the top. I don't want it soaking in water to where it's gonna be dripping in the sugar, but just enough so I know that it'll stick. Nice, I'm gonna set that aside. And then take my blue fondant piece and then put it upside down in the sugar. Just roll it around in there. So it's nice and evenly coated. So I'm not even going to put this on the board. I'm just going to lay it right over my cupcake. Just like that. And we're going to cover the sides also in some, uh, some blue sprinkles. And so, now that we have our blue piece on top, we're going to finish our Superman emblem. I'm going to take some yellow fondant because uh, Superman is highlighted in yellow, the emblem is. Um, so the red is actually in front of the yellow, so that's what we're going to do also. Okay, so I'm just going to knead my yellow fondant here and get my cornstarch. Put it on the board and then roll this out. I only needed the size of my Superman emblem, so a little bit of fondant. I want to make sure that I'm gonna damp the back of this. So this is the way the S is. For, so for me it's facing this way. So I'm just gonna turn this over, get my water, and it doesn't need to be completely damp because it's gonna stick in the other places that you don't get. Okay, so here's my Superman emblem now and I put it over my fondant. You can see already how it just is highlighted. Now I just want to cut the edges off so I'm, I'm not going to leave any space between. I'm just going to cut along the edge. And that is exactly how I want it. Here's my cupcake again. And uh, before we put on the Superman emblem, I promised that we would put on some beads on the side. So I have these mini pearl beads, the royal blue color. You can find it at twinklebakerdecor.com. And again, pour it in the bowl. I'm gonna pour it right back. And then I'm gonna dip that the rest of that white on the edge. Perfect. So now I'm going to get my buttercream again. I'm just going to make a little circle, just enough for the emblem to stick. And place it right on top. All finished. So we have our glitter right underneath the Superman emblem and then our beads that are giving it a very nice touch on the edges. Now we're back with our third cupcake, which is our Captain America cupcake. And have our cupcake ready. And I also have my white buttercream. So I just want to pipe regular circular buttercream design. So I'm going to start in the middle and then just go around. And then that's it. Put that a little bit to the side because I'm going to work on my Captain America pieces. So I had a cookie cutter and I cut out the size that I want for my cupcake. And then I got one that was the next size smaller and I cut that circle out. And then the size smaller than this middle ring I use, or two sizes smaller than the center, I used to cut off the smaller one because there's, there has to be a space for the white to show in the Captain America shield. And then the center is blue, so I just have a little bit of blue fondant that I'm just gonna 
press in the middle of this. So that's what I'm going to do right now. But you want to make sure that it's nice and pliable so that you can do that and not break your ring. And then just press it in the middle. Make sure it stays. And that way it fills up the entire middle piece so you don't have to get another smaller ring. You could get another smaller cookie cutter and cut out blue, but I like uh, pushing it in the middle because it fills up all the little nooks and crannies in case that cookie cutter doesn't quite cut it. So now I'm gonna assemble. I just wanna put my ring on top and then get this one. And just put it right in the very center. And then I have my tiny little baby star. So I used a stencil for this one as well. Um, if you can find the tiniest little star cookie cutter, then I recommend that you get it for this cupcake if you really want to make them. Otherwise, um, go ahead and just trace a star and then cut it out with scissors and then roll out your fondant and then put the stencil on top and then cut out your star. And I just want a small dollop of buttercream to hold my star. And place that in the center. And there's my Captain America Shield Cupcake. And we have one more cupcake, our Action Word Cupcake. So for this one, I like to use mini cupcakes because it's not exactly a highlight of the superheroes, but it's still very relevant. So we're gonna use, again, white buttercream for this, and we're gonna pipe it the same way we did for Captain America. I just wanna go in a little circle. I made my little Action Word sign. So again, I used a stencil for this, and for the stencils, I just used some 3x5 card, that's all. You can also use cardstock, but a thicker paper is better. That way, when you're cutting around it, it doesn't move around so much, and you're able to get that precise shape. So what I did was, I cut out the yellow first, and then I, I put the yellow on top of some rolled out blue, and then I made the blue a little bit bigger than the yellow so that you could see it underneath. And then you're also going to use the green frosting tube from Twinkle Baker Decor to write your letters. So I have some in a small little pouch here. You want to cut the edge just a little bit because you're going to be writing words. You don't want the words too thick. For this one, I'm going to write POW in all capital letters. And there is my action word topper. So I'm just gonna grab the edges really carefully and place it on top. And that's it, there you have it. So thank you for watching today's tutorial on our superhero themed cupcakes. You can find all the products that I use today at twinklebakerdecor.com. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.